So very recently I covered the conversion kit for the Pullum Yacht 762 in my top five conversion kit or aftermarket part video. And I just kind of wanted to make a full length video on it. Some of you may be familiar with these attachments already. And if that's the case, you can't feel free to skip ahead to the gameplay. But all the conversion kit does is speed up the weapon, give you a faster movement and aim down sight speed. And at the same time, you can build it out to have virtually no recoil while maintaining all of the LMG base damage. So the first attachment you do need to add is the Jack Annihilator Bullpup Kit, which is going to give you mobility and handling, rate of fire, aim down sight speed and hip fire and tax stand spread. It is going to lower your damage range along with bullet velocity but at the end of the day the pros are going to far outweigh the cons here and you're gaining a ton of mobility making it more assault rifle like but at the end of the day it's still definitely more of like a slow paced ar in my opinion you can see we have good recoil control our handling is drastically increased we also get the 22 percent increase to ads along with the 16 percent increase to fire rate here for my next attachment i am using an optic with the jack glassless optic this is honestly a preference i've seen people use the iron sights i've seen people use the eagle's eye 2.5x i've also seen people use the slate reflector at the end of the day this is going to be a preference attachment for my stock here i'm using the commando d15 recoil reduction pad self-explanatory it's going to help you with your longer range fights by reducing the recoil 21 percent of the gun kick there is absolutely massive along with 5% to the horizontal and vertical recoil control. So my next attachment is a muzzle with the Zem compensated flash hider. We're gonna be adding on some even more recoil control that we just got with the stock. This is gonna give you vertical horizontal recoil control along with fire aiming stability. This is the perfect amount in my opinion. There's virtually no shake on the weapon and the recoil is more or less non-existent. You're gonna get an additional 5% to the horizontal and 15% to the vertical there. And the last thing to do is add a barrel with the Jack Annihilator long barrel to increase that bullet velocity along with damage range. We did lose damage range bullet velocity with the conversion kit and this is going to bring it back up 34%. You're still gonna be less than without the conversion kit, but 30 meters with this high damage weapon, you still can shoot across the map with ease and pick up kills very, very fast. So as always, here's all of your attachments on the screen. If you guys felt the need to pause to copy these ones down, it, this was number three on my top five conversion kits. And for good reason, the gameplay is gonna speak volumes and you also saw it in the firing range. It's an absolute beamer. Here is also the rest of the loadout on the screen. If you guys wanted to copy this one down as well, I want you guys to make sure you hit the like and subscribe button for me. We're jumping over into a gameplay to feature the conversion kit pulling me out 762 hope you guys enjoy not necessarily the most ideal map here for the pull me out 762 but we got grime and i really couldn't turn it down i don't really have a class that i really want to use on this map if that makes sense i'm working on a few setups for example i want to do the mcw conversion kit that would have been a good weapon for this one but i don't have that class setup set yet like it's not perfected you know what i mean you know i do all my testing and stuff so it's not ready just yet it would have been in theory one of the Oh, that's not good. Yeah, yeah, you push me, you flash me, you push me. Oh, okay, he apparently could see me and I couldn't see him. Not ideal. Not an ideal start. There's some other ones, like I want to do a Superi. Okay, that's a five piece. Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, that unideal start turned into a great start. So we like to see. Teammate should lock in the guy back there. Let's check this way. Oh, that's a friendly. All right. I'll push this way with the squad. Teammate almost costed me. I got some goodies coming up, though. But my favorite one I think I'm going to put out is going to be the MCW I'm working on. That's a VTOL. If I can perfect the recoil on the MCW I'm talking about, it's gonna be a banger, 100%. But again, there's so much testing that goes into it. I am dead. I'm dead. Ah! I'm not dead. Oh, 
I'm still not dead. Oh, this guy with his freaking flash grenades, brother. No, I actually think my teammate running in front of me might have saved me enough because I'm assuming that guy's on controller and it might have messed up his aim assist. So by my teammate running in front of me, it might have actually messed up his aim assist. That's the only thing I can uh, really imagine happened there. I'm gonna need them to push. That's not exactly what I meant. Not all at the same time. Be patient, please. That's what I'm talking about. Enemy. Already got that VTOL again. I think I'm just going to go with that. I'm going to hold that DNA bomb as always. Just in case. I need to use that to clear an objective. Coming middle, howdy. Another one coming middle, howdy. Oh, I'm hitting. I am hit in. We're gonna use our UAV here. Should be another one there. Maybe not. Maybe they rotated. Teammates have a huge lead here. Teammate just died here. Don't think that was him. Up to 40 kills. I'm going to hold this VTOL. I'm going to go with the DNA bomb. I want this game to last a little longer. And it looks like they're just shooting my stuff down. So with them shooting my stuff down, it's going to make the game end quicker. Do you guys think? You think I've given them enough torture here? I don't think I have, and I want the game to keep going, so I'm having fun. This is truly unfortunate for this guy that we're chasing down here. Oh, teammate might have given it away. Nope. Oh, buddy. Oh, I would have twerked on that guy. Maybe you should focus on the objective versus just snipe because clearly I got the snaps and you do not. Thanks for coming. We're hitting a flank. And well, I may just have to hit the VTOL. I mean, this game's over. Target area marked, you're cleared hot. Truly unfortunate because I've been having the time of my life. Jump the hill. If you want to save the game, you better jump the hill. Yep, you guys are toast. Toast. That's it. 61. Man, that was that was fast. I'll be the first one to say it. That was real fast.